Welcome everyone in my shop. It is time for part 3 of my mini machine story. Ok, most important that in this part I will try to assemble my mini machine and fix some problems I get before. And you can see also the, the base. This terrible white color I will change it and also I have made a table. So have fun and stay with me. Okay guys, I have this temporary setup because I was curious and I wanted to check softness of the column with pocket scale set to 25 kilograms. I made this rough measurement because I was curious how soft is this column. Because that was quick test only for me. You can see that my stance is a little bit reflected, I will cherry it also base is not bolted to the table so I will change that and make the test again but as you can see it is about 600, 6 and half, 60, 650 okay so we have final setup for measuring softness of the column so let's start the test I hope you can see scale so I will be loading and unloading 25 kilo load unload load unload load unload it is about 500 so even bolting base to table improved it a little nice this is chamfer for coolant also this wall is going through the column space so I think when I apply some epoxy here and uh, put it on the table this, this will be somehow more stronger the column will be more stable uh, I don't know we will see learning by doing Let's try and then I will check with scale. I have a epoxy mixer. Now I need to apply this. Houston, you have a problem. In this moment, I realized that we applied too much glue. I will correct this because we still have time. Stupid.
we are just after I put epoxy there. I will show you in the moment. But we was in hurry because uh, epoxy is drying very fast in 10 minutes. It's almost hard. And we it was problem to level this down and also to put this in correct position. And uh, I was very hurry, really. But I will show you. Face epoxy and it looks like it's on the and yes, it's on the it's everywhere and it's glue is very stable there and and yes, I stand on my mini machine and also I put it column. I wish this will make column stable, more stable. I will check this tomorrow because now this nice epoxy day. need to dry and epoxy should be already dry. So again, I will use uh, the same scale. Let me set up the same way. Base is bolted to the table. Column is bolted to the base. I think it's set on the same on the same level. So I will check it. But okay. We not load. Loading 35, 25. Win out. 25. Win out. 25. I think it's better. Yes, and I'm very happy because this little trick are the improved column 0.02. Nice. All this is roughly machine. This is even not parallel. for my meal. So basically this is this part. <laughs> Here we have belly and uh, one part of the bearing is already on the road. I want to show you something before I will assemble this and all of course cutting this because it's broken already. Just from factory was made terrible. Uh, take a look on this surface. It's not round, it's not flat. It is it's made, I don't know, they used hammer. This part is, is broken, I think, from <laughs> this new part of new mill, but it's already broken. And take a look. bearing is even not in the center and four below is not in the center also with that I will do nothing now but funny thing is that this this hole is in the center and this hole 
is also the center of this one so that that will work but bearing <laughs> I don't know how they did this for but as you can see it's made really light it's flat metal and the glass I will try to use it to fix this surface I will apply epoxy glue here so I will put grain here align, align it with rod and I will wait the glue is with metal with glass components so it should be should be okay for this application. So this glue is able to hold 300 kilos, so should be okay. Should be enough. And now we should just wait. Okay, it's after 24 hours, so I will check. It's working. <laughs> and of course, I was wondering how I will remove this burning part, which I glued inside and on forum guys told me that just check the commentation of this build and there is that critical temperature is minus 30 and up to 120 so I can use heat gun to heat this for example to 200 uh, in Celsius and I will remove it Easy. So no problem with that. And it's working nice. Really. I'm happy. This part is done. I only need to clean it. Yeah. Okay, now it is time to take care of the screw. Now it's nice and clean. And if you are wonder, it is hard man. So hard. Okay, now I will clean all this stuff. Ok, 
Okay, it's time to put this back together. So let's start. Nice, nice, nice. It is heavy duty grease, so I will apply it so much it is possible. I think it is for bearings, heavy duty bearings. Okay, this part has no mount direction, so we can bolt it. Best way to grease this all is to run this up and down a few times, and for sure this will be nice and well greased. How nice it is. Okay, I will run it a few times. You will die waiting, so see ya.